That being said, let me uh, go ahead and do what I do best. Welcome uh, to the GMAP Broadcast Network, GMAP1.com. We are the number one faith-based, motivational, and inspirational broadcast platform in the country. Slick G. All right, so Gary Smith is here with us, featured on. Hey, man, how you doing this afternoon? How you doing? I'm doing great. If I'm any better, I'll be scared. I'm you know, doing great. Don't be scared, man. Don't be scared. You know what? Go ahead, take and accept that blessing, man. You are doing great, and uh, uh, it's good to have you here. Uh, we've been anticipating this opportunity for a while. Again, ladies and gentlemen, we can see him. He cannot see us, so I don't want anybody to panic. I don't like doing side-by-side -side conversations. I like being different. I like being unique. I like being uh, set apart from everyone else, so I like to focus on the task at hand and right now the task at hand is gary smith one of our featured authors on gmap tell us you know a little bit about yourself and who are you where you're from tell us who you are where you're from and who is gary smith well gary l smith is a a, a little country boy from uh a little place called blackfish arkansas I haven't lived there in a while. I'm currently in Tucson, Arizona now. Um, I was raised by a village of people. I mean, everybody there was family. Uh, left there, I joined the Air Force, did my 20 years, 21 days, had fun, fun learned a lot. I'm married to a loving wife, three loving kids, six great, great grandkids. They're, they're awesome. And and that's my hobby, and that's my life now, spending time with them. Wow. Well, ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong. I said that correctly. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Uh, of course, uh, I have an entourage of grandchildren, and, you know, I'm just grateful. I'm grateful. And uh, let me say this, man. For those that don't know, uh, now you know, Gary L. Smith is one of our featured authors on the GMAP Broadcast Network. You can always stop by GMAP1.com. Click on the tab that is simply titled featured authors you'll see the current publication uh that i am showing you on our television screen it is so easy uh to find uh if you have any trouble uh understanding the darkness to see the light all you have to do is click on it and it will take you to the necessary location to find out more intimate details and information about the author as well as the publication Speaking of it, tell us about it, man. You know, what, 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 what's it all about? Understanding the darkness to see the light. Tell us a little bit about it. Understanding the darkness to see the light. It, it's a, it's a book that I wrote, but it's not my book. It's your book. And the reason I say that, I go through a lot of the life situation, experience, and whatever that we all can relate to. So, and the book is written intentionally with a void out of the as. I don't spell out a certain event. I spell out a certain experience of that event. And uh, most people that read the book actually automatically uh, fill that void into their life experience. Um, I start off each poem with painting, like I said, the dark side of a situation or experience. And uh, I uh, gradually at the end try to show the light. You can uh, imagine yourself like in a big giant room and the lights goes out. I mean, the room is full of uh, tables and stuff you can trip on, bump into or whatever, but you see that little small light into, at, at a keyhole or whatever, and it, it leads you to that door out. And uh, understanding the darkness to see the light is that key, that sign, that, that little light to lead you to that door. Oh. Um, it gives you a sense of awareness of life and focus on that light, that positive part of it to keep you going. It lets you know that uh, darkness will consume you only if you let it. Um, and that's it, kind of with a quick brief overview wow. of understanding the darkness to see the light. Well, you know, as I look at and hear you say, uh, darkness will consume you if you let it. It's a very important statement because if you are witnessing a dark room and if you're witnessing a room filled with light 
on the other side. Cut a hole, drill a hole through that wall. And I guarantee you that the light will overcome the darkness. If you allow darkness to overcome the light, if you let it was the key that you said, and, and I appreciate you sharing that, so powerful, but if you cut a hole in the wall, the light will overcome the darkness, so you gotta be careful. Understanding the darkness to see the light is a very value, valuable, valuable uh, uh, word. It's important that you understand why it's being written. We're going to encourage all of our viewers and listeners, man, to show their love, care, concern, and support. Uh, once again, Gary L. Smith, one of our featured authors, GMAP1.com, GMAP Broadcast Network. Click on the tab that is simply titled Featured Author, and it will uh, uh, take you uh, to the necessary page. You'll see a copy of the current publication that I'm showing you now on our television screen, Understanding the Darkness to See the Light. Click on that cover. It will take you to the necessary location to find out more information and details about the author as well as the publication. Now, uh, I'm going to say this. I got to thank you uh, for a few, uh, a few reasons. Uh, number one, thank you for just being here briefly with us today. Um, thank you for accepting, Gary, the invitation to be a part of our broadcast network family here at GMAP. And thank you so much for allowing us to be a part of your journey. You know, it's so important that I do that and say that because most of the time people will say, I appreciate you allowing me to be on your platform. This platform honors appreciating you accepting the invitation to be a part of this uh, platform and family. So I thank you. Now, uh, speaking of that, I know that there are going to be some viewers and some listeners. They're going to be out there. They're going to want to show their love, care, concern, and support for you. Purchase your publication. What would be the best process to do so? How can someone that wants to show their support receive a copy of this publication? Well, you can go directly into Amazon.com. Uh, just type in a search of uh, Understanding the Darkness, See the Light, Gary L. Smith. Uh, it's also on my link. And uh, thank you because you shared it on your link also. Well, I, I, I'm honored to do that. Um, now, I want to say that, first of all, we're not going to allow anyone to forget about little old GMAP broadcast network down here in the lower left-hand corner of everything. You know, we're in small print, but we don't mind small print, Gary, because most of the time, small print is the most important print on the paper. So let us maintain that title. Um, also, if you decide that you want to order uh, this publication through a, 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 a platform like Amazon, we want you to take a few extra moments. Uh, take time out to leave a review. Um, it's so important for the author. It's important for Amazon. It's important for us here at GMAP and additional viewers and listeners from around the world. They would appreciate knowing um, what you think, how you feel, what you suggest and recommend. But most importantly, the fact that you took time out to leave that review is one of the best steps you can take. So please leave a review also uh what if someone wanted to reach out gary and talk uh more on an individual basis with you is do you have some contact information that you don't mind sharing yes yeah, so all of my com uh contact information is on my uh facebook page uh you just go to gary l smith writer and uh you you can email me contact there's a number there you can call me and whatever uh, there also is going to be a website coming out pretty soon. I would like uh, I'll broadcast that on that page too. A website coming out. Okay. Now, ain't nothing wrong with that now. Uh, let me ask you this before I move on. Is this actually your freshman project? Is this something that you uh, uh, just released for the first time or is this a, a, a write, a publication that you have decided to write, uh, making it a follow-up to one that you have previously written before 
this is the first actually book I've written uh, plays before. I uh, wrote a play called Walk With Me. It is pretty much uh, the description of it. It talks about PTSD, what that person is going to, and more importantly, what the people around them are going to. Uh, that, and yes, this is my first book, and it was released in August, I think. Ah. All right, and uh, and since we're on that, and it is your first, uh, first release, let me ask you this: What's next for author Gary L. Smith? What is your response to that? Um, there's a there's a follow up to this one because there was so much material that I just couldn't compile in one book. So there's going to be a follow up to that one, and there's going to also be a, a children book. It, I mean, it actually reach out on a basic level, teach kids uh, financial literacy. Uh, and it, it's gonna be done in cartoon type form and it's gonna be great. Well, I want you to make sure that uh, uh, you keep us posted, you keep us informed because we'd like to help you uh, uh, share that information to people around the world. Uh, once again, we appreciate you being here today, uh, becoming a part of GMAP and of course allowing us to be a part of your journey. Now, we do know that you have the uh, phone number, uh, and I want you to use it. You know, pick up the phone, call, text, chat, tweet, do whatever you do. Make sure you reach out to us. We'll make sure you get through, and uh, let us know what we can do to assist you. We want you to know, man, the answer will always be yes, and you will never, ever, ever have to ask us twice. We want to invite you Thank back. You. We want to hear uh, more of what you're doing, when you're doing it, where you're doing it, why you're doing it, all that good stuff. Uh, so we will be taking time out uh, to invite you back. Uh, until then, I'm going to move over. Uh, I'm going to let you share before I let you go exactly what it is that has been placed on your heart right here, right now. I'm moving over and say, Gary L. Smith, the floor is yours. Um. On my heart and mind is always peace. Um, and within this book, my vision for it is for people to look deep within themselves and find that peace, whatever that peace is to work for them, find that peace and work hard to keep it. Um, there's a lot of material in that little small book. And it's, it's basically learning, like you, you mentioned before, that dark room. Within that dark room is a lot of obstacles. I mean, you can bump over a table, trip over a chair or whatever. That's that's part of life. But how we handle those or see those obstacles are, and, and be aware of them can lead to more of a peace. Uh, that table wasn't put there to trip you over. That chair wasn't there to trip you over. But it was there, and you have to manipulate your way around it. And... And we all go through that. We all have our problems. We all have our struggles. But long we are aware that we're in a place that we can control this stuff, ourselves and how it affects us, we're in a good place. I always say that you, can, uh, you can't control what a person say or do to you, but you can control how it affects you, your feeling, your emotion, and your reaction. Uh, and that's, that's all part of finding that peace within yourself. Oh, I love it. And thank you, man, for joining us. Thank you for uh, sharing that. We uh, look forward to inviting you back soon. Uh, we will make you make sure that uh, you as well as others are uh, aware. Uh, we're going to be having this conversation posted on our YouTube channel, Facebook. We're going to re-air it here on GMAP. And, and, and you know, we're just going to do everything we can uh, to make sure that we disseminate this information to as many people as we can around the world. Uh, we appreciate you being here today. We're going to be inviting you back soon. But until then, this is what I would love for you to do. I want you to have a fantabulous rest of your day. And remember, be blessed and be a blessing and continue to do what you have been blessed to do. And that's put this information out there for the eyes and ears of the people, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Boy, you are a man of many words. <laughs> All right. I won't even dive into Slick G, but uh, we'll talk to you later. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> we'll talk to you later, man. You be good, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll give you a call a little bit later on, let you know where we go from here, okay? Okay, great. Thank you. God bless you, man. We'll talk to you later. Yours truly, Pastor Kevin, on the GMAP Broadcast Network, GMAP1.com.